my neighbor William, and this is the car he drives to school every day. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> uh, so you're driving Formula Nordic, which is kind of you could call Formula Four. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it's the same as Formula Four. Yeah. And uh, how did you do last season in Formula Nordic? Last season I came uh, second in the Swedish Championship and third in the North European Zone. Your plan or your hope is to go to British Formula Three next year. Yeah, exactly. So that's the plan uh, to do take the next step in my career and uh, over to Formula 3 and uh, the big cars. Yes. I think you should have a car striped in Fanatec for that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But you're looking for sponsors. Isn't it? Exactly. Uh, really cool. And you're going to help us. Uh, you, you have done some sim racing, but you, yeah. have the G, you have the G29 Logitech wheel. Exactly. Not uh, the best one. No. <laughs> Can we just look at what, what wheel you have in the car here? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a Momo Sanatec wheel with only one button. Uh, what does the button do? Uh, to talk with the team okay. uh, during the races. Okay, so so I, I think even the cheapest Fanatec will have 10 times more buttons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what game do you usually play? Uh, usually I uh, drive iRacing. Okay. Because uh, I believe that's the, the best for sim racing if you want to practice the, the tracks. Uh, can I get in? Absolutely. That's really... I'm trying to show you guys what's the view from the car, and this is kind of my eyesight. So, almost don't see any asphalt. H how is it driving? Do you do you see the road, or you just have? No, you see like uh, 10 meters in front of you, and then you just have to memorize it and uh, go for uh, for the best. <laughs> my friend uh, GT Meister, you can find him on uh, Instagram and we are at this amazing garage with three of your cars. This is my daily supercar, the Aventador S and then we have probably one of the most iconic car GTs in the world because the previous owner, well he's a dictator so this car was confiscated by the French government for many years and hidden away but we managed to uh, locate it and buy it. One of the most beautiful forgotten hypercars slash supercar, I don't know what to call it, was one of the fastest cars in, in the world, early 90s. Very unique car, only 281 made, around 270 street cars. This is the only car we have in Sweden. So I think we should just get started. Um, I something I noticed when I got this, which I think is a nice attention to detail, is that uh, they have the Fanatec logo on the... Plastic on tape, the tape, yeah, packaging. Okay. So yeah, this looks like a, a monster yeah. <laughs> connection. I wonder if you can put your Wheel on, <laughs> but maybe, but then you don't get all the buttons, I guess. Yeah. Uh, you've driven a 918. Yes. So let's take out the 918. Yeah. Let's try to open it up. Uh, a very oh, a couple of stickers. And put them on the car. <laughs> this is nice, uh, really nice packaging. Nice little bag. I can put my uh, sp sports gear in. Yeah. <laughs> Very excited of the quality of it. So, yeah, this is something I would put on the wall when I'm not driving. <laughs> actually, because it's a, I think it's a beautiful piece. Uh, a lot of attention to detail. Even uh, it's not just like a sticker, and uh, the carbon fiber, the stitching on the, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. And then the feeling is pure race car. So yeah, I'm very excited. This is a beautiful piece. Again, I would put this on the ball when I'm not driving. True. Is this, I wonder, is this carbon fiber? Or? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Mm. Cool, then just to compare, we should take the F1 wheel, which is this one. Let's see. 
Yeah. More stickers. More stickers. Oh. Button stickers. <laughs> yeah. Same little nice uh, packaging. Yeah, I love. Uh, I can immediately feel the quality of this. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a completely different uh, uh, zone than the uh, than the kind of lower priced wheels. Yeah. What do you think? Feels good. It's a bit uh, a bit heavier <laughs> than the uh, than the others. Shifts the shifting pedals. Pretty good. It looks like okay because they are they are bigger. So. Oh here they are! Wow, it's like uh, jewelry. Really nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is like almost Koenigsegg, Koenigsegg Pagani <laughs> feeling to it. I mean, the attention to detail is very impressive. Yeah. I really like the the 918. I think this is an H pattern shifter, so can, can replicate the driving experience of the Carrera GT. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun to see some of the Formula One drivers actually have those at home. And now when I see uh, just the bits and parts, I can totally understand why. Yeah, this looks... Just the packaging is $1,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. And you have a... I mean, this is like a piece of art also. <laughs> it sure is. I guess when you have... Uh, power in it. Power in it, yeah, yeah it's going to be... Yeah. Yeah. And I guess you can change the knob. Yeah, I prefer this one. More like F1, yeah. the McLaren F1. You have to have the balsa wood. And the, the last one is the, the regular club sport pedals. So we have, we have the inverted ones here, and this is the regular ones. The club sport V3. Yeah. Yeah, so these look very nice. I mean, I mean, what do you think the difference is between the... When, when would you go with the inverted and when would you go with the... I think it depends on your feel, uh, what you like. That one is more, uh, I think, uh, uh, heel and toe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you want to practice on heel and toe, definitely the bigger box. And it's more like you're driving a car. If you have a Formula car, you only have the, the regular ones. Mm -hmm. Because there's no space for inverted. Yep. So it depends on what you want to replicate. It uh, took a bit to assemble, so we didn't want to film all of that, but after screwing and attaching all the gear, uh, I think the instructions were pretty straightforward. You had to download the drivers, reflash the firmware, figure out how to recenter the wheel, and uh, uh, if you read the manual first, it's much easier. <laughs> we, we, we tried to do it without. Being a Formula Nordic driver, you should try the, the Formula One uh, wheel. Yeah. And. Uh, what track should we do? Uh, yeah, let's try a civil stop. How do the how do how does the shifting and everything feel compared to uh, compared to the real, uh, to real, real stuff? It feels feels good. Uh, I had, I don't have the pedal shift on my car, but uh, the the pedals and everything just you can feel every every bump on the track and all the rubber marks. So. And you did some uh, esports racing. Uh, yeah. This year with the G29 wheel. Uh, how do you think you'd, you'd perform better with this setup? Yeah, of course. Uh, much better. Here you can feel all the bumps through the steering wheel. You can feel where the rubber is, so you can push much better. Uh, yeah, just a lot better. There's force feedback in the pedals. Yeah, uh, or vibration. Is that just more realism or does that add performance? Yeah, the, both. Both. So let's try to switch wheels and obviously quick release and go for the 980. Let's see. Let's put that there. Yeah. Like that. 
It's immediately functioning. It's cool, you could just switch it out like that. I like the rev counter here. Uh, and uh, the paddles are very different feeling for, to the F1 wheel. Uh, a bit more springy and light. Yeah, I guess one has to figure out what all the buttons is. We haven't put on the stickers yet, but there's plenty of buttons here. A really nice touch to them. This button you can twist, which is a really nice feature. And uh, yeah, let's go. So what do you think? Will you become a better driver? Yeah. In, in real life, not in, yeah, in, in real both. life. <laughs> this would help me a lot if I had this at home and you could practice like almost every day. Be really good at the tracks. Uh, every bumps and uh, all the rubber transfers directly to my hands. So I believe this is the, this is the, the thing to have. Because you have driven the, the Swedish uh, national teams. National teams. Yeah. Uh, and, but they have a motion platform. They have a motion platform, but uh, the Fanatec uh, steering wheel. So you think uh, it's uh, an investment worthy to make if you want to improve your track skills? Yeah, it's really worth it. And uh, every day I will buy one. <laughs> Oh, cool guys, thank you for uh, us having to let, letting us see your beautiful cars and uh, setting up the Pleasure. sim here. I think the first thing that struck us was the quality. Yep. I mean, you, you haven't played video games for a while and you thought, yep. I want to hang this on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that, that tells you a lot. And obviously it's a German company, so, uh, you know, that's what to expect, German engineering. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think uh, it's, it's a very, very sturdy thing and you obviously being a Formula 4 driver you feel that you know you know not you know you, you can obviously add the motion control and stuff yeah, but this sure. really puts yeah. the realism in your hands yeah. and uh, yeah you, and you said you're gonna buy your own yeah <laughs> the quality was uh, way beyond the expectations and also the driving was um, uh, let us let me put it this way it's it's a good thing to have and to experience before you go to the real racetrack with uh, your real race car or track day car.